got another interesting one here for y'all. The sad reality of dating gaps. As you already know, link will be in the description. Love. An intense feeling of deep affection. That butterfly feeling in your stomach when your crush walks by. The third most important thing on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all aspire to be in love one day. I mean, love makes the world go around. Love brought you here, love brought me here, and it also brought every single human being on this earth here. That shows how important love truly is. And what okay, let's be real. Sometimes it's less that brings some of these people here. Let's just make sure we put that out there. Let's not sugarcoat everything, Gengo. There's one way to find love in the beautiful year of 2024 dating apps we've all been on a dating app right or am i just exposing myself for being down bad i feel like everyone in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy i'm not gonna lie my arc actually came pretty early because i mean i'm 20 years old i dropped out of college i don't go to parties i go to the gym and i make videos how else am i gonna find women i mean i could try rizzing up women at the gym but i mean i'm not trying to be joey swole's next victim so how about to say bro 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 talking to women in the gym Don't do it. That's already out of the window. So what do I result to? The wonderful world of online dating. It's amazing. It's glorious. It's garbage. Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel like I got to explain to you guys the big three. You know how people always say there's a big three for anime? Well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. And that big three is Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. Tinder is the generic dating app with the whole swipe right and swipe left system. Right for like, left for dislike. If two people swipe right on each other, boom, it's a match. After you match, you can text that person back and forth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. But if I'm being honest, nobody is on Tinder looking for a relationship. Everyone is just on Tinder looking to smash. And no, I'm not talking about Hulk smash. I'm talking about. <laughs> then you got Hinge, which is. Hey, bro, when you do it, it got to be a, hum a, a Hulk smash. I almost said hump smash. Holy shit. It got to be a Hulk smash, bro, because otherwise what you doing? Basically, the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot because with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes a message or likes how you look, then that person can choose to match up with you. So if you're not gifted with the looks of ASAP Rocky or Michael B. Jordan, then you still have a shot because you can kind of show off your personality and then you got bumble which in my opinion is honestly the worst out of the three it's basically the same thing as tinder it's got the whole swipe left and swipe right system but here's the twist you know how in society usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman well on bumble it's a complete opposite the women are supposed to make the first move men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other but if they match only the women can text first it's pretty stupid if i'm being honest with you on paper it sounds like a great idea you know i see online a lot of people saying like if women shot their shot more there will be more relationships out in the world which i do believe to an extent but at the same all right so he's not wrong if women actually pursued the guys they were interested in i think they were would be a lot a higher success rate because i feel like a lot of dudes don't get that opportunity you know like a lot of times you or if you're out and about you have to pursue and you have to interact or engage but if the woman was to engage you the likelihood of you saying no would be a lot less and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i know the likelihood of a dude rejecting a woman versus a woman rejecting a man is a big difference at the same time i do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first because i mean at the end of the day if i was a woman i would go nowhere near bumble and i say that because it just sounds like extra work like why download an app where i gotta make the first move and put in that extra step when i could just download tinder or hinge and just have men flock to me it's like asking somebody if they'd rather get one million dollars for free or one million dollars but they actually have to put the work in obviously everybody's gonna pick that one million dollars for free but yeah those three apps are pretty much the main three dating apps anything else I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using farmersonly.com? One thing that all these apps have in common though is that they all have these Bro, sometimes you need you a little farmer shorty, you know? That could show you how to you feel me till the fields, raise the chickens, you feel me? Whatever they be doing out there. Premium subscriptions, which offer I'm not gonna lie, $29 a month. That's very expensive for a dating app. Holy shit. $20 a month for premium. 
That shit is insane. Things like more swipes, more information like who liked your profile and boosts so more people can see your profile. But if we're being honest here, this is just a dating app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And the reason I say lonely men is because on dating apps, most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps. There's actually studies that show that Tinder is 75% men, Hinge is 64% men, and Bumble is 76% ah. men. So, so if you, hold on, we gotta look at that chart again. And there we go. So if you are on these apps, this is your competition. Holy shit. So for every match you may get, she's getting triple. Triple. So you really have to be locked in on your game to secure the bag, as they say. 76% men. So what's one way to help with this overflow of men? Buying their premium subscription. And what's even crazier is the pricing on these plans. Yeah, that's just expensive, bro. Holy shit. And then there's Tinder Select, which is Tinder for $500 per month. Now I gotta state this right here. Tinder Select isn't open to the public. You have to actually sign up for this. Only less than 1% of Tinder users actually have Tinder Select. It's so like a it's really Tinder Select. Important. It's pretty rare, but regardless, it is Tinder for $500 a month. Like we're not gonna sit here and act like that's completely normal. For $500. How, many, how much cheeks are you getting off Tinder that you would spend 500 a month on it? Like realistically. 500 a month on a dating app? That's insane. I better have a shot with Tiana Trump, Margot Robbie, Ruby Rose, and any other baddie on this earth. $500 is literally the price of a PS5. The saddest part about Tinder Select though is that the people who actually buy this are most likely still going to get the same results that they did prior to having Tinder Select. But let's be real, some people yeah. honestly just deserve to learn the hard way. If you spend $500 on a dating app, I mean, you deserve to have that post-transaction clarity. Also, one year of Tinder Select would be $6,000, which is absolutely crazy to me. If you're spending $6,000 for a dating app, number one, seek help. Number two, find God. Number three, you're probably ugly if I'm being real with you. But you want to know a crazier fact? 14% of Tinder's users are paying users, and that's out of 75 million people. And 14% of 75 million is 10.5 million. So that means that 10.5 million people are paying users on Tinder. But if I'm being honest, I'm not really as surprised. I mean, right now we are going through a loneliness pin. To be fair, 10% is not that bad. If it was like 50%, that would be insane. 10%, I could see that. Especially people who like travel a lot or they're just trying to get cheeks, the geekies, the yeeks, the geats. I could see that. They're trying to get as many matches as possible to f make their odds better. So they just get on there and hit the swipe right on everything and see what happens. Studies actually show that one in four adults feel lonely in the world right now. And also we are living in a time where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money. I mean, you got people out here buying OnlyFans subscriptions. You got people out here who are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like battle passes and in-game skins, which I'm not going to lie. I am pretty guilty of. And you also be on that too. Tons of money on DoorDash and fast food each and every day. So all that being said. Damn, I got Uber Eats twice today. He's calling me out. I bought a skin on League and I got Uber Eats twice today. I might have to calm it down, boy. I might have to calm it down. What is 10 to 20 dollars nowadays? People blow that like it's nothing. So why not spend 10 to 20 dollars and possibly get a relationship out of it? It sounds reasonable, right? And that's exactly how dating Hell apps get you. At the end of the day, dating apps are a business, and the goal of a business is to make money. If the goal of a dating app was to help each and every user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life, then that dating app would go out of business because that app would make no money at all. So what are dating apps doing? Selling a solution to the lonely society. And if you're that lonely man that's maybe dropped out of college, only goes to work in the gym, and you're not really around that many many women, then you're their exact target because you have two things, money and loneliness. But what's even worse is the algorithm of these dating apps. Tinder actually used to use this ELO system, which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess and video games. I say used to in quotes because Tinder said they took it out, but let's be real. That's just a PR business cover up. We all know that they're still using it till this day. And how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness slash how many people would swipe right on you. So pretty much if a ton of people swipe right on you, that means that you're in high ELO 
and tinder values you a lot and if you're a person who a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you basically that means that you're in low elo and you're ugly but if that high elo person likes somebody's profile who's low elo that low elo person's score goes up so if that high elo person has terrible taste in men or women it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the earth but what's one way to have more high elo people on your feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general paying for boost, the boost, boost 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 that makes sense that actually makes sense if that's how they do it because if they're having you rate it based on the amount of likes and swipes you get and you're not getting a lot and you're always getting no's of course they're not going to show you more that kind of does make sense right like they're not going to put you at the front of the app but that's a way for them to promote this it's actually pretty sad because it all just boils down to dating apps wanting more money. At the end of the day, love is priceless. You can't just pay your way to love. Just have fun, go outside, live your life, and eventually you'll find your significant other. I feel like too many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process of things, and one of those things being relationships slash love. Now with this video, do I expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app on their phone? No, because that's not my intent. I mean, if you use Tinder or any other dating app for free, I honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is that do not spend your money on dating apps you work hard for your money and if you're young twenty dollars is like one to two hours of work and if you're old that's like less than an hour of work but regardless do you really want your twenty dollars to go to a slimy dating app let's be real here but yeah with all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be right up here on the screen but yeah with all that being said thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out to be honest i feel like people are gonna watch this video and now they're probably gonna go and get all those boosts because they know how it works now <laughs> they're gonna be like hey if i pay i'm at the front and if i'm at the front they have to match me don't they they have to match me clearly but you guys already know what time it is if you like made it to the end of the video i appreciate you guys as always make sure you hit that like button subscribe and if you have any recommendations drop them in the discord you already know what time it is peace be hey.